What first brought me to Trinity Christian School was that the, my predecessor, Francis Ash, was retiring. And so uh, Dr. Anthony and uh, the then chairman of the school board, Mark Hess, invited me to assume the role of, as principal. It was exciting, it was different. I was, I've always been in leadership in some way or another and uh, having a background in music education helped. But uh, I was excited about it, uh, a young school, and uh, it was a great opportunity, I thought. My initial capacity, I served as principal, and uh, I assumed a lot of different roles. Um, I remember uh, mopping up vomit down the hallway <laughs> one day, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, maybe the parents of that little guy are, is, are here tonight. There they are, right back there. The people going like that, no. <laughs> but uh, it was just an honor to serve in any capacity needed. Uh, for me, some of the great milestones were uh, probably uh, the beginning of the athletic department. I remember Dr. Gretchen Peacock following me across the parking lot one day, pulling on my sleeve and saying, can we have sports here? And so uh, fortunately there was a, uh, a private athletic conference that, that was uh, sort of uh, uh, facilitated by John Turner of Our Lady of Victory and Jeff James from the Bedford School. And that was a perfect opportunity for us to begin participating competitively. Other milestones, of course, uh, probably the building of the buildings. Uh, the, the building that the gym is in was big and then the uh, middle school and amazingly and glory to God both of those buildings were filled with students by the time we completed them. Uh, those are some big milestones I'd say probably one more would be uh, beginning the high school. We hired two full-time teachers Val Adams and uh, Scott Ahonen uh, with only 13 ninth grade students and uh, the rest is history. Probably my greatest joy is to see our former students, how well they do. Uh, some are full-time ministry and uh, business and uh, um, many different avenues of life, but just to see how well they've done. Uh, also, some of our kids have married each other and that's, that's very rewarding to me, but uh, those are some of my high points and fond memories of Trinity. Uh, my feelings about having had the opportunity to participate in uh, this marvelous ministry, I'm humbled. I'm, I'm glad and I'm honored to have played a part. It means so much to me because I love the Lord. I love these kids. I love these families. I love the staff. And I just, I just feel totally honored. And uh, when I stand before the Lord, I know that my time here was fruitful and that uh, God was honored by what I did. And uh, so those are some feelings that kind of come up to me. And uh, I, I just have a great big thank you to everyone for uh, your uh, presence in my life, your participation in the school and, and all the wonderful people that have sacrificed and helped make this possible. Uh, all of us can be honored and proud and grateful that we've had this marvelous opportunity. When I hear the phrase, always forward, I think of a verse. Uh, the Apostle Paul says, therefore, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the very high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And uh, if the school can adopt that motto, that mantra, that, uh, that motive to push ahead in God and push ahead in life uh, by grace and by faith, uh, I think that's a scriptural uh, foundation uh, that is valid, that's important, and uh, it's something that we want to put in these young people. Uh, instead of looking back or getting uh, stumbling because of this or that, they can always be looking to God. There again, the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord, and as God orders the steps of these young people, uh, they're going to do great conquests for the Lord uh, in the days to come.